we think it's going to be? I keep telling people, ask me all the time, and I say uh, one or two years, but is it well, one well, or two or is it four to five? What right? is it? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. That. So I, you know, I would say that before uh, mobile wallet usage by consumers starts to become widespread, and I sort of peg that at one out of four Americans having a mobile wallet, I think it's um, five to eight years at best. I think it could be longer. Maybe outside the U.S. faster, potentially? Mm, it's, uh, you know, uh, look, look what's happened in Japan. I mean, they've, they've got about those stats eight years in, and they had a very, very concentrated ecosystem. Yeah. Um, this, this business of changing consumer behavior shouldn't be underestimated. Um, Absolutely. Uh, the technology is going to move really fast to try to keep up with understood customer needs. And having the standards sort of keep up with that is going to be very difficult. And a related area, of course, is uh, privacy and security. How do you keep the um, regulation and rules and, and how we behave up to, uh, up to speed with that? And uh, I think that making sure that we all have principles that we're operating against uh, is going to be is going to be very important. As good as it is that there are um, NFC, the NFC standards that Ryan was talking about are there. Um, there are no standards when you look at all the different ways that mobile wallets and the different um, payment devices and, and uh, uh, loyalty offerings and everything that interact and interface with those. So um, are there standards for the way a, an ACH transaction goes to a mobile wallet and is, and is um, transmitted from that mobile wallet and that phone through via barcode? I mean, right. you've got, uh, it, it is, <laughs> we're seeing a little bit of the Wild West, and, and as scary as it is, that, that was a little bit of the fear. I think we could all, every one of us on the, on the panel here, uh, could very easily argue that it's simple to get a device with a payment credential in it and walk across the street into a retailer and have it go beep um, and you're allowed to walk out of the store without getting arrested. But being able to build something that resembles a business that then begins to create a groundswell where consumers are asking for it, merchants see the promise of it, issuing banks begin to migrate their systems off of legacy platforms and begin to engage with the interactivity of the mobile environment, in my view, is, is table stakes.